Hey there, what's up? I'm back, school is over, Pokemon's back, let's do it. This is an old battle, however, I need to get back into the flow of things, it's me versus Adele. I lead with a Frostlass, Adele's gonna lead with a Kingler. I taunt expecting some kind of setup, however, it's a Scarfed Kingler, which completely caught me off guard. I get molested with a Rock Slide, and things are off to a bad start. I can't stay in and take another Rock Slide, so I switch to the best thing to take one. Unfortunately, it doesn't even take it, or fortunately, however you want to look at it. So, I set up my Stealth Rocks. Now, I'm expecting a Rapid Spin. It's kind of too early, though, but I switch regardless. Back into Winter Wisp with Frost Last to absorb the Rapid Spin. But Adele plays it smart and sets up a Reflect, and out comes this bastard. I hate this thing so much! Because it, I never, I'm never prepped for it, but it's so easy to tell what it's going to do. I mean, the Bolt Beam combo, something to cripple you, Stealth Rock, or a Stab move. That's usually it. So, I taunt it. Don't want T-Wave flying around, but I get a Psychic in the face. Actually, I Pain Split it, expecting it to be faster, but it's not, since this is a bulkier Frostless. I switch out to Steelix to absorb the Psychic, but switches out as well goes into Manetric, who I completely forget has Overheat. I totally forget that. And I stay in stupidly, but thankfully it misses. But my Sassy Steelix doesn't have quite the attack power to take out Manetric, so I have to switch out to Shiza to absorb an Overheat. It turns out it's Specs, which would have completely molested Steelix, so thankfully it missed. Kinda costly, however since Steelix becomes kind of crucial late game. So out comes Mr. Krabs, or Got Krabs, I'm thinking of Spongebob. I avoid a crab hammer. Kind of obvious, but not really. I would have gone with the safe rock slide. It still would have hit Shiza, so eh, it's me. But I switch out to my sub seater, and I get the free, this, get the free sub. Out comes Ethos, the uh, Blaziken. And I'm going to stay in. I mean, I'm just going to set some leech seed action, but I'm I'm slower, and Sceptile's like the fastest freaking thing, not named Swallow and underused, so I'm like, okay, it's got to be Scarf. So that's two Scarfers on this team. Kind of interesting, and a Spexer, so that's three choice users on this team so far. So, I set up the leech seed, forcing the switch. Really wish I had spikes, because that's the premise of this team. Out comes Crabs, and I'm thinking, hey, Intimidate, but hey, not the other ability. And I switch to Steelix, expecting something outside of Crab Hammer. Because Adele probably predicted the switch back out to Sceptile, so that's why Adele went for the X Scissor. I'm staying in, I roar just to rack up damage and see more of the team, and out comes Beautiful. Named after Beautiful Joe, even though it's blue instead of red. And the girl. But whatever. Metacham hits me with the Ice Punch, it's probably Scarfs. And I, I should have taken that pretty well, but a crit. You know, whatever, it happens. I go for an Earthquake, and that does a massive chunk. Unfortunately, again, Steelix base 85 attack really isn't going to be hitting things. Anyways, I try to finish it off with an Earthquake. I should have went with the Iron Head, but better safe than sorry. And Adele avoids it with the Levitating Bastard. Uh, Agu, or however you say that. And I get Nice Beam in the face. I'm sassy natured with max special defense. It's probably should have taken that better, but again, another crit. Maybe it's my Alaskan affinity for drawing in things cold, but whatever. I go for an Iron Head, hoping to flinch, but it fails. Get taken out by an Ice Beam. However, Steelix was completely pro at causing passive damage. I bring out Azumarill by mistake. Expecting a T-Bolt, but I get a T-Wave, so I get a T-something. Lots of T-Time here. But my name's not Tiger Woods, and I don't have a sex addiction. Oh, burn. Burn on Woods. Anyway, I have to switch out, fearing the Ice Beam. Winter Wisp is pretty useless now. I could go for the Pain Split, and that'd be the safer option. And then I realize that it's more than likely going to try T-waving me. So I predict that. I taunt. Unfortunately, I'm wrong. And I taunt the Manetric, wastefully. Now, it's not going to go for an overheat. It's going to go for its strongest option that's specs. It's still going to take me out, so that's a T-bolt in the face. So I didn't switch. I just let my ghost die. And out comes Azumarill for some cleanup action. Goes for the huge power boosted uh, Aqua Jet. Takes out Manetric. 
Switch is out beautiful, drawing me into using Aqua Jet, Mr. Krabs. What's that SpongeBob thing? Kingler takes the uh, Aqua Jet very well. Base 115 defense is gonna take it very well, or 110 or whatever. I go for the Waterfall. It's my next strongest option. That's not retarded since I have Focus Punch left and Substitute. And unfortunately, it doesn't get the kill. I go for the Aqua Jet, thinking it would have taken it out. But, and since it was Scarf, I don't want to take any more damage. That's my best option. But the switch into my spirit, get T-waved, not necessarily crippling me, more so than leaving a lot up to chance. I go for the Waterfall, again, strongest option, hoping for a flinch, don't get it. And Lefty's Recovery, I think, is going to negate the uh, KO from Aqua Jet, just barely. And I get a T-Bolt, but thankfully I don't think the investment into Special Attack was there, because that doesn't do a lot. Ozu for Ozu Merrill's sake, it doesn't do a lot. It was unstabbed, probably wasn't boosted, and Ozumero has some pretty epic 80-80-100 HP defenses here, so I got a lot to work with. And, <clears throat> you know, I'm doing pretty good. Krabs comes in, it's faster. I get the Parahacks, which sucks, but, hey, that makes up for that overheat mess, I guess. I don't die to a superpower, and that I'm for that I'm very surprised. So... My Aqua Jet takes out Kingler. Yay, I said it right. And, yeah. Uh, looks like Ozzy Merrill's going to be able to take out the rest of the team. HP's far too low. Too many switches with Stealth Rock taking its toll. Most powerful move in the game, I think. Hits everything. Uh, I Aqua Jet, beautiful. Great attack, paper defenses. Now this is where it comes down to. I Aqua Jet, don't get the Parahax. Which is what Adele was hoping for, so I can get a Thunder Punch in the face. But at this point, it's too late. I already have Swallow waiting in the wings. I have our K9, who could have extreme speeded with a huge attack investment. So Adele just goes, oh my god, what the fuck, boom! And takes out my Azumarill, who pretty much saved my ass. Uh, good game, Adele. This game let me become the gym leader I am now. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'm glad to be back. I'm enthusiastic. Fuck you.